Hello my sunshines, hello my angels. Today I wanted to talk to you about two Dooney and Burke Florentine satchels from my handbag collection. So if you love Dooney and Burke and you wanna hear about these two lovely satchels, come on aboard, stick with me. Let's go ahead, let's get started, let's jump right in. Before we jump right in, you have to remember to hit the like and the subscribe button. Okay you girls, so I wanted to talk about these two lovely satchels. One being the Dooney and Burke Florentine Satchel, and that is in the small size. And my newest baby, my newest addition, how cute, my Dooney and Burke Nano. Isn't she the cutest little thing? Oh my God, she is so adorably cute. So when I got this Nano, you girls, I always knew I wanted a Nano, but I didn't know what color I was gonna get her in. And I thought about red, but you guys know I have enough Dooney and Burke red Florentine satchel bags. And I wanted something, I don't know, I just wanted something a little different. And I knew that I had the small in the natural color already. So my first instinct was like, no, 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 you have her in natural already. But then at the outlet, you girls, the prices at the outlet, the prices at the outlet. Can we talk about the prices at the outlet? The prices at the outlet are so unbelievably good. I mean, they're like, I got this beauty for more than half off. So, you know, the satchels run for like $4.58 full price online and at the website at I Love Dooney and DooneyandBurke.com. They're like $4.58, $4.68 half off would be like two something i got this beauty for under 200 dollars at the outlet she was a steal of a deal i just couldn't resist her so i was like you know what natural even though i have a small satchel and natural to just have the nano and just have her as an extra little play fun bag on the weekends as a crossbody. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong with that. Another thing that got me was the smooth Florentine leather. Sometimes the bags have pebbled Florentine leather. I'm a lover of the smooth Florentine leather. And if you notice, these beauties are so smooth. They're so rich and creamy. They're so, so smooth, you guys. They're so rich and creamy. Her tassels, everything is so beautiful on her. Now, I do have to tell you a quick story about my small Florentine satchel right here. So, the other day, you girls, I was wearing my small Florentine satchel out. And as I was getting dressed for the day and I was coming down the steps at my house, I kid you not, you girls, I fell down the steps. I fell down the steps with this bag right here. I fell down the steps with this small Florentine satchel. And I have to be honest, you girls, I, let's, let me just say I wasn't hurt. I was okay. I did, my knee was a little bruised stuff. I had a little bruise on my knee, but I mean, as things go, I didn't fall completely down. I mean, and this is a large level of steps at my house. I mean, but I didn't fall down the complete full, you know, row of steps. I basically missed the last step. Has that ever happened? To, I know that's probably happened to somebody out there before where you're coming down the steps and if you're not paying attention, you miss that last step. Now that could be a very bad fall. I know years ago, years ago, like 20 years ago one time, I haven't fallen down the steps at my house very often, but years ago one time, I was carrying a laundry basket down the steps and I wasn't paying attention and I missed that last step and I twisted my ankle pretty bad. Thankfully this time, and this has been like the first time in about 20 years in my home where I did the same thing and I missed the last step on my staircase. And when I missed the last step, I fell forward right on my knees. And I, can, I kid you not, two things I wanna tell you about that. The first thing is, as I was falling, you guys, <laughs> I fell forward onto my knees. And as I was falling, all I could think about was, please don't hurt my bag. Please, I hurt my, I hope I don't hurt my bag. <laughs> all I could think of was, I hope my bag is okay. I hope my bag is okay. That's all I could think about because I knew I was falling onto hardwood floors. And even though the floors were clean, I was thinking that, you know, the, when you fall, your bag is gonna get scratched. It's gonna get scratched. So let me show you the area where the bag hit the floor. 
So you can see the corners right here. Along the corner was where it got the little scuff. But I'm so happy that I was able to rub the scuffs out. So the few little scuff marks that the bag endured from the fall, I was able to rub them out, you guys. Here again is the other side of my satchel. And actually, I believe it was this, this side right here, the back side that got scuffed. And you can't even see anything anymore. I was able to go ahead and rub it out. There it is right there. Let me see if I could blow up. Right there is where took the brunt of the fall. And you can see there's really not anything there anymore. I was able to rub it out. And because I was able to rub out where I fell, the scuff marks, this was a TJ Maxx bag. My small Florentine satchel was a TJ Maxx handbag. And when I purchased this beauty from TJ Maxx years ago, this bag actually had a few scuff marks from just being sold at a TJ Maxx from banging around a little bit. And I had never rubbed those other scuff marks out before. But since I was working on the bag because I fell down the steps and it had the scuff on the back on the end corner, I decided to go ahead and rub out the other scuffs that this bag had from when I purchased it at TJ Maxx. And girls, I don't know if you can tell on camera, I, you probably can because the sun is really good out here right now, but there are no, the flaws that were, that, the, I'm so excited. <laughs> the flaws that were on the bag from TJ Maxx are now gone. I was able to rub all the flaws and scuff marks out. So I guess falling down the steps, I don't wanna say that was a good thing. That's never a good thing, but it did make me go ahead and baby my bag a little bit and tend to it and rub some of the other scuff marks out that now my bag is it's flawless you guys and i'm just happy to have the nano satchel as well because i mean these bags in just different various sizes they're nice and different sometimes you need a small bag for everyday use sometimes you need the nano crossbody if you want to be a little bit more hands-free and you're going someplace and you don't want a larger bag sometimes you need the large satchel for work or if you're going someplace and you want to carry more items so i love incorporating all the different sizes in my handbag collection so i now have the nano in natural the small in natural i have the large in plentiful you know several different colors and i even incorporated a micro into my handbag collection that we'll be talking about in more videos so stick with me you guys for my handbag journey my dooney and burke florentine satchel handbag journey because i'm always adding more of these to my collection and i'm sure this isn't going to be the last few pieces so remember to like comment subscribe on my channel stick with me for more handbag videos and it's just gonna be such a fun summer a fun summer of handbag collecting remember to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you girls in my next video I'm so glad me falling down the steps had a had a good ending nothing bad happened there was even a family member at home that came and checked on me So I did make a little ruckus. I did make a little noise there when I was falling down and a family member did come and check on me, but all's well that ends well. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you girls in my next video.